right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the hands. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for Ladies the particulars inside the octagon, is here is Bruce Buff. main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 251 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Kelly. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. More baller than this Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the judge. These guys throwing early. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Tags him with the uppercut. Just missed with the left there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? 
Nice. Able to check that kick as well. Relax, relax. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, oh big knee. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. him with the left, so the right hand is a strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, nice jab. Hands high, hands high. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the oh, shot. Oh, shot. Oh, wow! Officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. That last round's over. He took his best shots and smiled back. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg up. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Ooh! On. Right off the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Right hand punch from the clinch. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, collar tie. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet! Was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Head kick is blocked. There you go. Stay tight. Stay tight. Get the double leg. Double leg there. Double leg. Plus right hand is true. And they separate.
Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in his championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kelly. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now. I'm, I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? It's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be.